Hey everyone. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about lists in Python. So lists are basically uh, like arrays in other languages. And just as you would in JavaScript and a lot of other languages, you declare a list with uh, brackets. And within here, you can have uh, any elements you want now. You don't have to specify what type of elements the list holds. So you can have 1, 2, 3, negative 100. Uh, you can have the string hello. You can have a Boolean value. And you could have another list even, 4, 5, 6. Uh, so there are some really cool functions in Python. So the built-in function length prints the length of the list. And you also have the built-in functions max and min. So you can get the max element of the list. Oh, in this case, it uh, gets hello because it's the longest uh, element. But if we had max, would pr most likely uh, you'll most likely use it for um, a list of numbers. So you could have 1, 2, 3, 100, negative 100. So if we print the max, we should get 100. And if we print min, we get negative 100. Uh, you can also reverse the list. So you can print, so you can link reverse. And then if we print a list, we get the link on um, the list in reversed order. Uh, you can also convert, as we've done in other uh, videos, you can convert strings and other sequences to lists. So if we had something like hello world, we can print a list of s. And this is a built-in, list is a built-in function. So list of s, and it gives you a list of um, um, the string where all the characters are elements. Uh, so you have some other really useful functions. So if you want to add to a list and remove from the list. So you can do something like list append, which we've covered a lot in um, a lot of the other videos. List append uh, negative 2, negative 3. So now you can print list. Whoops. Only add. So now you added negative 2. So append only, you can only append one element. Uh, you can also pop the last element from an array, from a list, sorry. So you can remove this last element by calling list pop. And so now you can see that negative 100 was removed. Uh, you can call it again. And you can see that 100 was removed now. You can also insert into a specific point in the array, into the list, sorry. So you can insert at the first position and you want to insert the character A. And so now you can print list. And you have a one two three a hundred negative hundred, uh, and then all, you can also find the index of a specific element in the list. So you can do print list index of let's just say you're looking for a hundred, so it prints three. So a hundred is in the third position. So zero one two three, and then you can and if you're looking for something that doesn't exist in the list, it returns an error. So if you wanted to check if an element is in a list, you would do something like print um, a thousand in list, and you get false. And if you print a hundred in list, it'll give you true. So uh, let's actually using some of these these are uh, list methods. Let's actually try and solve the simple symbols challenge. So you get a string that'll look something like this, and you have to determine if each character is surrounded by plus signs. So I believe it's only if, uh, yeah, you, you have to check if each letter is surrounded by plus symbols. So let's write a simple function. So we'll call it simple symbols, and it takes a string. Print simple symbols. Okay. Well, input. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is first pad the string with plus um, with equals on both sides. So, for example, right here, if the character is an F, and we want to check if the character before it is a plus, we'll actually get an out of range error because uh, you're trying to access an element uh, that doesn't exist in the array. You're accessing an index before the first index, which you can't do. So what we'll do is we'll just set string equals to equals plus string plus equals. So now if we return string, we basically get argument goes here, we get the uh, string padded with equal signs. And this doesn't affect the actual algorithm because pluses aren't important for the string. We could just as easily pad it with um, a number and the algorithm would still work. So for example with this string we should get false because 
this character is not surrounded by plus signs. So now what we'll do is we'll convert this string into a list. So list equals list of string. And let's see how it looks. So now we have each character as um, an element in the list. So now what we'll do is every time we hit a letter, we want to check if the index before and index after, if those elements are plus symbols. Um, if we get, uh, if we find a letter in the list that's where that's not true, we can immediately return false because the um, the string is not valid. And if we reach the end of the list and we haven't returned false, we can return true. So what we'll do is we'll loop through each character. So for C in list, this is a really simple way to iterate through a list. Uh, what we want to do now is if if character is a letter. So we'll do if, so I believe you can use the if alpha um, function. So if is alpha, alpha, if is alpha. So let's make sure this works actually. Uh, so we'll return list of zero is alpha. So the first character is, is, is an equal sign. And you should get false. And the next one is the F and we get true. Okay. So that's working how it should. So if it's, if it's a letter, if the index before it and after it are, um, are plus symbols. So if list, so actually, so since here we're iterating, we're iterating through each character in the list, we actually want to, to iterate through the list and maintain an index. So we'll actually write a loop a different way. So for I in range, zero to the length of the list. So this is equivalent to what we did before. We can loop through the list just as we were, except now that we, we have access to the index. So we'll do something like if list of I is alpha. And this makes our job, this makes our uh, algorithm a little easier because now we can do if list of I minus one equals plus and list of I plus one equals plus. So if they're both pluses, you keep on going. So what we actually want to do is if one of them is not plus, is not a plus symbol, we'll return false. So we'll do if this doesn't equal plus or this doesn't, doesn't equal plus, we simply return the string false. And then if you reach the end of the loop and you haven't returned false, we return the string true. So this is uh, the basic algorithm for this challenge. So here we get false, which is correct. And for this string, whoops, I have to surround it in quotes, you get true. So this is the basic, uh, a basic solution for the, um, this challenge. We basically split the string into a list, use the is alpha function on the string, and then use some uh, list indexing here. So in the next tutorial, we'll cover um, dictionaries in Python.